Hi, I'm Alex Grieve, better known as Ivy Crazy, and in this video, I want to show you how a two and a half inch piece of copper wire attached to the back of your VAS diamond antenna can double your control range. Behind me, I have my Agilent Field Fox Vector Network Analyzer set up in vector voltmeter mode. The 2.4 gigahertz diamond is in transmit configuration where the helical over here is receiving. And as you can see, I've normalized my voltmeter so that it's approximately zero dB between the two of them. But watch what happens when I connect a diamond with this wire attached. So as you can see, we've got a gain increase of seven and a half dB over the original diamond antenna. Now, how much range does that mean? Well, it means a little bit more than double. Every three dB is double power. Six dB is four times power, but it takes four times the amount of power to double your range. And this is seven and a half dB. So about 2.2, 2.3 times as much range as you would already get out of the diamond. And we know that this diamond already multiplies your range by a factor of three. So in this configuration, we're looking at a range increase of about seven to eight times over the stock radio. However, there's no such thing as a free lunch when it comes to radio. And thus, the way this is working is I've created what's called a parasitic radiator. The diamond antenna and the two and a half inch copper wire are working in harmony to take the signal that normally would be directed back towards the pilot because this is an omnidirectional antenna. It's working with the parasitic radiator to take that and drive it out forward, but it's also taking the signal to the sides of the antenna and driving that forward as well. It might seem like magic, but it's really just refined physics because that element isn't necessarily a reflector, but it's a radiator that works in unison. So watch what happens when I turn the antenna in test away from the helical that's measuring the signal strength. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to have to do is reestablish our baseline, because now my body is in the way of part of the signal. And as you can see, we've lost about two dB or so compared to when I wasn't here. So my body is actually interfering with the signal. But watch what happens when I turn this antenna to the side. Notice that the signal strength begins to drop very greatly. In fact, at 90 degrees, we're at half the power that we were with just the diamond alone. And if we go over this way, we're seeing similar results. As we get off center, notice the signal strength drops. And when we get to the sides, we're down below the level the diamond would normally be. So it is actually taking some of the energy that would normally come out to the side and driving that forward too. But watch what happens to the signal strength as we turn this around backwards. As you can see, there are some areas where I'm 12 dB below the diamond, and that means it's 18 dB difference. And that's because you cannot create more power by adding this. All it's doing is directing the energy more towards the direction the antenna is pointed. So effectively, what I've done is turn my diamond antenna into a two element Yagi. I might be crazy and keep them flying.